guys, welcome to day 13. Today we are going to be doing an adult silhouette version of Simba, which is super, super cute. It is a much quicker video than what we've been doing so far. I think there's only about five, maybe six minutes worth of video on this one. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. It will really help me to grow my channel. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. There's also a link to our Facebook group where you can see step-by-step -step pictures of all of the designs that we're doing in the description. And I've also popped some links in there for some of the products that I recommend. So let's get started with Simba. So guys, this entire piece is literally just done with black paint. You don't need anything else. We've got our nail all ready. And we're gonna start off by doing a few little curves for his mane. You do need a really fine detail brush for this, so do check out the brushes that I have linked in the description if you're not sure which brushes to choose. And then we're going to give him a little spike beside the side of his mane, just to show off that he's fluffy. Then we're going to move on to the top of his head, and we're going to give him a really big curve for the top of his head. And then add a little bit of an angle. We're going to give him a little flick out and then another curve down. Followed by another curve right down onto where his back is going to be. Then on the other side, we're going to curve that first little bump around a little bit more. And we're going to give him a tiny little bump after that one. That's kind of going to symbolize where his eye is. And then we're going to give him his big cheek and wrap it around and then his mouth. You're going to curve his chin upwards and it doesn't really matter how far we need to drag his chin because we're going to be filling this all in in black anyway so if you go in too far it's not going to make any difference. But then you're going to give him his nice big round proud chest. And we're going to give him his first leg at a little bit of a right angle. So sticking out and then back down and curve it in. So his paw is kind of like lifted up towards the ear. You can fill that leg in as you go just to make it nice and clear where it is. And then we're gonna draw up our little triangular area. That's gonna differentiate the first two legs. So you can see our second leg is coming down. It's going in front of the first leg. Drawing in his little paw. And I'm gonna leave that there for a second just to get the proportions right when I draw in his back. So we're curving his back down a little bit further and then we're gonna swoop it off the side of the nail. And I'm gonna start filling in then what we've already done. So this whole area that we've outlined is all gonna get filled in in black paint. You might need to do two layers. Now we're going to come back down, down to this foot and we're going to drag from the centre of his body out at a little bit of an angle towards the leg and then we're going to fill it in. And then we're going to swoop his belly off the nail and fill the rest of him in. Thank you. 
Then we're going to add in his tail. So his tail is going to be off the side of the nail. You want it to be aiming towards his bum. And we're going to give him nice little curvy swooshes for the hair on his tail. So I started with like a, a curved teardrop shape. And I'm just adding in little swooshes. And that's it. He's done. So he is definitely the quickest one that we've done so far. But I hope you enjoyed him just as much. So let's get him top coated, cured, and voila! Thank you so much for joining me on our super short day 13. I do hope you've enjoyed him. Hopefully you'll find him a little bit easier than some of the other ones. If you haven't already subscribed, there should be a subscribe button on your screen right now and I would really appreciate if you could give it a little hit for me. And I hope you guys will join me tomorrow for Pumba. There is also a poll growing in the Facebook group today. If you guys would like to jump in, the link is in the description for you guys to choose the next movie that we move on to in four days time. For now, that's it for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!